I can stop whenever I want, guys. I can stop whenever I want. This video was brought to you by the National Limpet Addiction Rehabilitation Center of Gothenburg, Sweden. Hi guys, this is Matthias, and in today's video I'd like to bring up a growing concern in the Battlefield 1 community, and that is the very traumatizing psychological issue of having a limpet addiction. Now, personally, I don't have any issue with this myself, but a friend of mine told me that his cousin has a girlfriend that knows a guy who's been suffering from this for quite a while. So on behalf of him, and of course the Battlefield community, I tried to find some facts about this growing problem. Now according to Slag Sjögren, who is the head of the research team for limpid addiction related problems, about 17.4% of the player base of Battlefield 1 are in the risk zone of developing stage 1 limpid addiction. About 6.2% of the player base has a fully developed stage 2 limpid addiction, However, Dr. Sjögren himself does question these numbers and says it might be a lot higher. Now, in most cases, the stage 2 limpid addiction can be cured through medication and therapy. Normally, this is a between 6 to 8 month process, and many times it requires isolation in rooms with padded walls. So now, how do you know if you or anybody you know is suffering from a limpid addiction? Well, the number one unquestionable sign when somebody has an addiction is when he or she can't stop himself from laughing uncontrollable when having some success with the limpet charge. We are losing objective <laughs> now, another clear sign of this psychological disease is when the person in question is using the limpet charge instead of his primary or secondary gun in situations when shooting the enemy is the most logical choice. So now, some of you guys might be wondering, what can you do if you realize that one of your friends or maybe a family member is showing the signs of being a limpet addict? Well, the most responsible cause of action is of course to confront the person. Try to talk to him or her, try to let him or her know that this is much more common than most of us actually knows. But it's also important to understand that uh, most of these people that actually are addicts, they have a well-developed defense mechanism against any kind of help. Now, the most common response is denial, but also to start talking about a completely different subject, or even to project this problem or another problem back towards you. Making jokes about the issue is also a very common response. Now you might be wondering, why didn't I just shoot him? Now what's also important to understand is that there is a small group of the Battlefield 1 community that has fully developed stage 3 limpet addiction. Those players, unfortunately, are beyond help. If you ever encounter one, then just try to stay clear of them. If you see any one of them, just walk away slowly, don't make any sudden moves, and pretend that you have no idea what a limpet charge actually is. Oh baby, a double! So in this video, aside from the limpet charge, of course, you'll see me use the Parabellum and the LMG-8, both low-weight versions. And that's because those are the two weapons that I've been using primarily as of lately. Now I'm going to try to switch that up a little bit more, add some more variety to it in the future. But for now, I want to say thank you all for watching. You saved me. Oh, bad. Oh, shit. You saved me with that thing. <laughs> <laughs> that was the idea like the whole bomb. time. That was the idea the whole time. They are outside. Ah, it's 30 HP. They are outside of the beat. Yeah. And now from the tun tunnel? Yeah, oh, I got one of them. But uh, there was one more. Oh, he's getting revived. There's two coming from A. A tunnel. No. 
No, I wanted to go YOLO! But I didn't YOLO it enough. Never get past there, yeah? Ah, I got killed by a snipe. Sweet spot the second time. Oh yeah. I mean, yeah, they 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 buffed this chain Rigotti and they they have that sweet spot so you're dying. Noobs are killing you. Really annoying. Yeah it is. People don't play the gun, so let's buff. That's their logic. Let's buff the gun. Because people are not playing. Yeah. And all of a sudden, yeah, you're getting killed by level 2. <laughs> oh, panic. Cleared it. Was only those three? Okay, there's more. We have lost objective Charlie. Here, munition for this. No. Yeah, I, it, it irritates me. Throw a grenade, maybe. Oh, -ho! he got wrecked. Oh, I got limped off. Aha, we hit mat. We are losing objective battle. Halfway there, we have the upper hand. Yes. That was a nice little. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Hey Tabin! I was stuck with the... Oh, because I died with the limpet in my hands. <laughs> I saw him there on the minimap. There's a guy to your left, Max. 
took one. Oh, behind me. There's one behind up in the balcony, yeah. I think. Yeah, still alive. Oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, it's the uh, sentry. We have lost objective dark. Ah, she at least. There we go. No. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> the way he flew away there. <laughs> that looked funny. Why? <laughs> oh, I could have just shot him. Same point on the bridge. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 